Over the past few years, I've tested out a bunch of different antivirus services. And I can honestly say that while many of them offer a lot in terms of basic security features, it still takes some digging to find out which ones can make a real difference in guarding your information. So today we're gonna to touch on some of the tools that you can use to keep yourself protected from the different types of threats that come with surfing the web. And in this video, I'll be reviewing my top antivirus picks, which are Norton, TotalAV, Bitdefender, and McAfee. We'll take a look at their main features, subscription plans, pros and cons, as well as their pricing. So whether you're trying to protect a Windows or a Mac device, by the end of this video, you should have a really, really good idea of which antivirus software could be right for you. And if at any point you decide that you want to try one of these out, you can use our affiliate links that are down in the description below. They don't cost you anything and you'll get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't be able to get if you went directly to their website. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right. So let's start off with probably the biggest name in antivirus software, which is Norton Antivirus. It's been around since almost the beginning of the internet age. It was founded in the early 90s, and they've established themselves as a major, major player in the antivirus space. Most experts and reviewers regard Norton as one of, if not the best performing security providers on the market. And in terms of plans, they offer Norton Antivirus Plus, which starts at around $30 for the first year and covers one single device with their antivirus, a firewall, anti-malware software, anti-hacking features, and two gigabytes worth of cloud backup, as well as their encrypted password manager. The next plan is the Norton 360 standard, which includes everything from the plus plan, along with a VPN and dark web monitoring on up to three devices. This one goes for about $40 for the first year. And for 10 bucks more, you can level up to the Norton 360 deluxe plan, which gets you everything covered under the standard plan, as well as 50 gigabytes of cloud space and parental control software for up to five devices. And jumping up to the highest tier, the Norton 360 select goes for $100 for the first year and includes all of the deluxe plan features along with LifeLock ID protection, 250 gigs of cloud backup, social security number and credit card alerts and credit monitoring, as well as up to $25,000 in stolen fund reimbursement should God forbid that happen. And this plan covers up to 10 devices. So if you have a big household that uses a lot of tech, then this tier could be the way for you to go. Now, I've thoroughly tested and talked about my own personal experiences with Norton in a separate review. And I can say that they're definitely one of the best antivirus services out there. They're not the only ones, but they're one of the absolute best ones. So I'm gonna link the video to the full review down in the description if you're interested in learning more specifically about Norton. Okay, but now I wanna jump over to Total AV, which is another well-known antivirus service provider that offers a lot of added tools and features that some don't offer. It's incredibly easy to use, even even if you're not tech savvy. And just like Norton, it's great at catching and stopping malware without dragging down your computer's performance because what's special about Total AV is that it totally operates in the cloud. It even has a limited free version as well if you wanna try it out. Now, the nice thing about their plans, aside from the fact that they don't drain your computer because of the operations in being in the cloud, is that they all pretty much offer the same tools with the only majority differences being the number of devices that that you can cover as well as just a couple of key features. Their antivirus pro plan costs just under $30 for the first year and covers up to four devices. Meanwhile, their internet security plan goes for around $40 for the first year and covers up to six devices while also giving you access to their VPN. And VPNs aren't only great for protecting your online activity, but also using one can help get you access to content that you wouldn't normally be able to get depending on where you're located. Meaning you could have Netflix libraries based out of different countries to stream different shows. And lastly, their total security plans cost around 50 bucks for the first year and will get you coverage for up to eight devices along with their total password protection, which is their built-in encrypted password manager. So with each of Total AV's plans, you get antivirus, malware defense software, and zero day cloud streaming, which uses the cloud to spot and stop unfamiliar threats, keeping your device safe without slowing it down. They also have a bunch of additional features like a disk cleaner to help keep your devices and drivers clean and safe and protection both across iOS as well as Android devices. Plus their PUA or potentially unwanted application protection feature 
is designed to identify and block software that, while not necessarily malicious, might be unwanted, annoying, or harmful in some other off way. Things like adware, browser toolbars that you don't use, system optimizers, or other useless sort of clutter that often comes bundled with free software downloads. And as a reminder, if you want to try out Total AV or any of the antivirus services that I'm going to talk about or that I talked about, then check out the affiliate links that are down in the description. They don't cost you anything and you'll even get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't get if you went directly to their website. Okay, now let's move on to Bitdefender, which offers a great set of plans that allow you to protect a larger number of devices. This makes it perfect for small businesses that expect to grow and would need to expand their coverage to more devices over time. So their antivirus plus plan goes for $35 for the first year and gives you their standard protection suite against adware, malware, web attacks, and ransomware. Then there's the internet security plan, which for $50 in the first year gets you parental controls and extensive privacy features, including firewalls and webcam and microphone protection, but only for Windows devices. Now, both of these plans offer coverage for up to three devices, but for $60 in your first year, the total security plan can get you complete protection for up to five devices and covers multiple operating systems, including Mac, iOS, and Android. All of Bitdefender's plans include ransomware protection, as well as an advanced anti-exploit feature that helps guard your devices against hacking. Plus, they also have a fileless attack system that uses machine learning to detect and block fileless malware before it can actually run. On top of that, they offer a bunch of additional features for protecting phones, as well as tools that are specifically designed to provide security for Amazon Web Services and cloud-based servers. Okay, now McAfee finishes off my list for today, and they were among the first antivirus software companies to gain success during the early years of the internet. So one of the first things that I should highlight about McAfee is their identity protection features that keep you covered in case any of your personal data or documents get compromised online, which could otherwise cause some pretty serious losses. Now, McAfee has a long-standing reputation as one of the most comprehensive antivirus packages on the market today, and they offer various plans and services, each with their own unique features. Under the higher tier plans, their identity protection includes financial coverage to make sure that you have the funds necessary to recoup any losses you might have suffered due to identity theft, as well as any legal fees that you might incur along the way of a lawsuit. On their ultimate plan, this coverage goes up to $2 million and can be used to protect up to two adults. The ultimate package is McAfee's most extensive of their family plans, which span from around $60 all the way up to $250 rate in the first year. And when it comes to individual plans, they offer the essential, premium, and advanced packages, which start at just under 36 bucks for the first year, and then goes all the way up to 80 bucks. They come with different features, such as a firewall and malware detection system to guard your files, as well as a VPN that'll help to encrypt and conceal your IP address when browsing the web. Their built-in password manager keeps track of all your important login credentials, and their spam filter makes sure that your email inbox is free of annoying and potentially malicious emails. McAfee also offers parental controls to give you the ability to manage who gets to access what on any of yours and your family's devices. And if you opt for the advanced and ultimate plans, you get access to features like identity monitoring and alerts, bank account takeover and credit card transaction monitoring, a security freeze option, credit lock, and ransomware coverage, just to name a couple of them. Okay, so that about wraps up this review of these four antivirus programs. I hope you really found this video helpful. If you did, then please like and subscribe to see more content like this. Among all of these great options we covered here personally, I recommend Norton because in my experience, they've been the best in terms of functionality and speed. But don't get me wrong, because all these services work really well, also Total AV has a nice advantage because it operates totally in the cloud. So all of them work really well. But it all really depends on what your specific needs are and what features you prioritize and which ones work work best for you. And as a reminder, if you decide to try any of these antivirus services, then check out the links down in the description. The links don't cost you anything and you'll even get a bit of a discount on the product, which you wouldn't be able to get if you went directly to any of their websites. As always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts and I'll try to get back to any questions or comments that you leave down below as fast as I can. Finally, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.